<laughs> well, hey, students in Whitestown, they got to kick off fall with a special STEM challenge today. Each class had to find a way to make a pumpkin survive a 50-foot drop from the ladder off of a fire engine. Oh, my goodness. Only two classes came out on top. Our Randall Newsom has a post-game recap for us. All right, guys. We are here. At Traders Point Christian Academy, they just had their first ever pumpkin drop, and these are your pumpkin drop champions. Okay, all right, okay, I'm a little jealous. Principal Nate, I'm a little jealous because I don't remember having this much fun before I hit middle school. Can you tell me just how you guys brought this all together? Well, I'm so sorry. I don't think you ever went to Traders Point Christian Schools. So. Also true. Also true. <laughs> <laughs> so as part of our STEM program here, um, we, the kids learn about the engineering design process. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool that these second graders won because this is the second engineering design process they've been through. They just recently made some seed spreaders. They had to design an invention to, set, to spread seeds as part mm -hmm. of our outdoor ed program. And so now this is their second chance to, to engineer design um, the pumpkin drop contraption. Wow. What was it like to have the Weistown Fire Department but in on it and making this come true, this vision for all the kids and all the excitement out here. Well, you know, it's been awesome because, you know, since COVID, COVID was, has been a little depressing for kids a little bit, but, you know, we're, we're staying within our guidelines, but at the same time, working closely with Boone County Health Department so that we can do projects like this outside. And we um, team with the um, fire department um, quite often, actually, um, at least once a year, they come in and do special projects with us. So this is a new one and they were excited and we were glad that they were excited too. So. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we got to talk to our second grade champs. How you guys feeling? All right, Cole, how do you feel? Were you surprised when you guys found out that your pumpkin didn't break? How'd you feel? Uh, really excited. Like, I was, like, su really surprised. Mm -hmm. I thought, like, I couldn't look when it was, like, 75 <laughs> feet in the air about the dro yeah. drop. <laughs> awesome, man. Okay, so you got to tell me about the strategy. How'd you guys put this pumpkin together? Uh, so, like, it took, like, a lot of time, so, like, we... Wanted to use our time. We don't. We didn't want to mess around. That's some pretty. That's some pretty intense uh, cover you guys we got there. That we were like, we thought that this box would break, but that other box inside all this paper would <laughs> stay. So like, which, which is a um, box with a pumpkin inside it. Awesome, awesome. Cole, man, great job. Congratulations, second grade. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> all right, that brings me to the old people, sixth graders. How you guys feeling? <laughs> All right, Jonathan, you're speaking for the sixth graders. Okay, you guys were dead last. How are you feeling when that pumpkin dropped out of the sky? Um, first, I'd like to thank uh -huh. the team of sixth graders that actually brought this together yeah. and built our pumpkin drop. But um, I was slightly nervous, but I was confident that our pumpkin drop would succeed and our pumpkin would be safe. Awesome. First time, guys. You have ever done this. Oh, for you, how much fun was it out here to watch all these pumpkins fly out of the sky? And then you guys had one that didn't break. Um, it was fun watching all the other pumpkins fall. But what was especially exhilarating was the fact that our pumpkin managed to survive the 75-foot drop. How do you feel about those bragging rights? Sixth graders, sixth grade was 10 over here. Y'all were 10, sixth grade, sixth grade. How do you guys feel about those bragging rights? Well, um... We're very honored to be able to um, have this opportunity and be able to um, have performed so well. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to really enjoy those rights. <laughs> Mr. Miller's class, sixth grade, make some more noise. How you doing? <laughs> All right, guys. That was your Traders Point Christian Academy pumpkin drop postgame.